Okay, so we're back here, I think. We should be back from our uh, little technical glitches. It's amazing how crazy things get. Uh, we are surrounded by folks here at the Cinnaboyne Park Zoo. We're just outside the leaf. We have telescopes set up inside the kitchen gardens, which is on the, the east side. I'm broadcasting from the south side where there's a little bit better Wi-Fi. And hopefully you can receive this, although I see from the few comments that I've gotten that uh, the internet is basically grinding to a halt all across North America. Because, uh, amazingly enough, everybody is watching the eclipse. So, we're going to bring you the local view as soon as we can. The clouds are really thick right now, so the telescope can't focus in on them. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can bring you a view of that uh, momentarily. And then... We will also get the NASA TV, excuse me, the NASA TV feed as soon as we can reestablish that connection. Because right now, they're really keen on um, having about a billion people all looking at their website at the same time. So um, this is, uh, it's a little difficult for us to, uh, to do everything that we had hoped to do. Um, the NASA, NASA TV is a uh, broadcasting and you may be able to connect through them if you're listening in here and you're not uh, not able to see our video very well because of the connection time. NASA has a little bit better Wi-Fi than we do, I hope. Um, there's also a stream from the Exploratorium in San Francisco. They, they went uh, on the road so they'll be broadcasting as well. So if you search for Exploratorium you might find also a feed there. We're gonna be, uh, we, the eclipse has apparently started, however I can't see anything. And uh, let's just let's just see here. I hear my theme music in the background. Somebody seems to have logged in. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's see if we can get a view at least of the crowd here. Okay, let's see if we can get this. There we go. So we've got a small crowd here by the uh, by the front end of the leaf. People keep walking in. Everybody's asking for eclipse glasses. The world is sold out of eclipse glasses. If you can find eclipse glasses now, they're probably not safe. So uh, it's probably too late to go looking for them now. Uh, at the south, uh, the east side of the leaf, just over around that direction where the community garden is, there's about uh, a dozen telescopes set up for you to look through. And uh, we'll be bringing the feed from that as well. Just gonna point this camera down here for a little bit and leave it pointed at the sky. See that little bright spot in the middle there? That's the sun. And you can see all the clouds that we're fighting right now, hey? Actually, I'll bring it over on this side. Make it a little bit easier. Oh, there it is. Right behind the camera guy. There we go. There's the sun. Um, really not the view that we had hoped to get. Um, Let's see if I can just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's too much cloud for us to get the telescope focused on. Oh, although we might get a few, uh, we might get a little gap here. I can just take a little peek over here. See if we can get this lined up. Okay, let's see here what we can do. So there's the view that we have right now of the sun behind the clouds. And we're going to see if we can get the solar telescope pointed here. I don't know that we'll pick it up until it clears a little bit more, though. Yeah, no, there's just not enough brightness. We have basically eclipse glasses on our telescopes to prevent the telescope from getting fried as well. And that means that um, we aren't able to then see anything else. Uh, so when the sun gets dimmer because of the clouds, that's what happens. Um, okay. So yeah, unfortunately right now, we don't have that. But as soon as it clears, we will come back to this and we'll get our solar telescope set up as soon as we can. I'm just gonna get this set here. So eclipses are the kind of thing that happen actually fairly often. It's just that people don't realize they happen fairly often. Somewhere in the world every year, there's a couple of eclipses, usually one or two solar and one or two lunar, and um, sometimes uh, you get a bunch of them in a row. Like we had a so partial solar eclipse here in Manitoba just uh, 
just a few months ago, back in October, I guess. October. And so October is uh, was a partial solar eclipse. This uh, event is all a very similar partial solar eclipse, but it's a, a total solar eclipse. In uh, yeah, sorry, these are, these aren't to uh, to look through. You can look through the screen over there. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. I need you to stay here and keep keep people off of this telescope, please. Okay. Thank you. Um, where did, uh, oh, there's Dre. Okay. Dre is going to do some interviews. That's excellent. Sorry. Sorry about that, folks. We're just trying to get uh, a little bit of crowd management going on. So what we will do here is see when we can get to our um, NASA live feed. Of course, we were hoping that NASA would be feeding uh, a live view, and right now it looks like it's not running uh, at 100%. And so we're trying to get a hold of, uh, you know, a decent Wi-Fi. This is the kind of thing that is probably the biggest Wi-Fi usage ever, um, probably even exceeding the Olympics, I would imagine. So it should be interesting to see if uh, we can get all the things that we want to get. So I'll check back with you in just a couple of minutes. We're just going to get uh, our NASA view here, and we will take a look at that very shortly. So I'll be back. If you have any questions, get your teachers or your or you can go ahead to type them into the um, into the uh, chat box, and we would be happy to answer them for you. I think we've got a NASA feed, and it looks like from Mazatlan, they're going to be coming to totality right away. Let me get this set up for you. And we will get NASA TV hooked up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here is the view on NASA TV from Mazatlan. It is just coming to a very thin crescent sun right now. And so it looks like they're going to be seeing totality on this screen um, in looks like about two minutes or so. So we're just gonna see, I didn't realize they'd be feeding from Mazatlan, I'm glad they relocated here. Okay, the sun is going down to a very thin crescent from Mexico, so the eclipse has reached North America. They're taking the filters off their telescope now to see the total phase of the eclipse. Here we're still cloudy, but the view on NASA TV should be pretty impressive once it uh, once the total eclipse comes out. Um, it's probably delayed by a few seconds, so yeah, it'll it'll uh, jump over as soon as it can. Couple dots to just uh, yeah. interact and Oh, 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 <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Hello. Let me just get there is the solar eclipse from Mexico. Let me just get this in Sorry, I just wanted to see. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I hope my friends Jay and Judy out there are uh, are experiencing this because they went down there. I know that uh, they were hoping for some clear weather. It looks like a beautiful view of the eclipse.
So Quinn, the total eclipse is on over there. Okay. Yeah, I can see. You want to see it? Yeah, sure. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. Are you okay? Anything in your Because I've already seen the one that I'd rather let other people who have to see. Um, I think we need maybe another staff person over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. head soon. Yeah. So. so if we could get another staff person to come and hang out here uh, or a volunteer, that would be great. And if someone could bring me a couple tin tips, that would be awesome too. Yeah. Sure. Can you do it? I can. So the rest of get somebody? Yeah, just so I have another person here because Quinn actually has to do stuff yeah. in there. Sorry, everyone, that I'm managing many things at once here, but we've got this beautiful view of the total solar eclipse. And the moon is completely in front of the sun as seen from Mazatland. Here in Manitoba, the view is not at all as impressive because we have a lot of clouds. But we're going to see if we can maybe get things uh, set up. We might be able to get a view of the eclipse. Uh, there's nothing. This is the screen right here. That's the same screen, yeah. Oh, no worries. You need a hand squat with anything? Nothing I can uh, really get you to do. Thank you, though. Okay. Appreciate <laughs> it. It's just a matter of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I can actually see it through the eclipse glasses now. The eclipse has started. Oh, gross. The eclipse is starting. The bottom right of the uh, of the sun is partly eclipsed, so the eclipse is now slightly visible. I'll see if I can get our telescope view on it. It's hard when there's clouds, but we'll get the telescope aimed hopefully. That's that's from that now that line, yes. Can we see the real image for the telescope? I'm working on it, but the, with the clouds, you can't really see it until the clouds clear. Oh, so that's what I'm working on trying to get it set up. So right now we the glass, I can't really see it. Like that, that's right, only 10% is being covered right now. Uh -huh. It will get to about 60% okay. by later. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Okay, there's the diamond ring from Mazatlan. The sun is now starting to get uncovered by the um, moon in Mazatlan. And so we'll be seeing that as a crescent. NASA has stations all along the path, so we'll get to see totality three or four times if it's clear. Um, and we're still waiting for a little bit of a clear view from here in Manitoba because it is just not the best view. Let's see if I can switch to a lower tech kind of view. Let's see here if I can get us. I'll center things and then I'll put the camera. Uh, it's uh, the camera doesn't like to focus through this, so that's unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So you yell at me if I am. <laughs> then just got smaller. That's gonna keep happening a little bit. Hey, do you guys want to go over there and watch with the rest of the people? Yeah, there's telescopes over there. Yeah, the close-up telescope views are way better. All right. Is this one not working? Or? Well, this is live stream only. This is not for. Yeah, good to see you guys. See ya. So there are some glasses available. Glasses available. I'm sorry. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. Here's still the same view. Here's still the same view. Here's still the same view from, 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 from our camera. It's still our camera. It's still all clouds. But if we go back to the NASA view, the NASA view, the NASA view, 
is a close up of the moon being uncovered and they've moved on a little bit farther in Mexico. So we're going to watch the total eclipse from Mexico, from Torreon in Mexico. Oh, thank you. You want to? Um, I'll take the water right away. Thanks. My throat is going to be gone. Actually, if you could just wheel that right up to me. Thank you. So we're going to be watching the eclipse now from Torreon. Yeah. You can see that the moon is almost completely covering the sun from there. As the moon moves along, different places on the path of the eclipse get their two or three or four minutes of, uh, of totality. And we, right now, have totally eclipsed by clouds, which is unfortunate. Not at all what I was hoping for, but it is what uh, what you could do. Oh, hey guys, nice to see you. All the telescopes are over there, but we're doing a live stream from here because this is where the Wi-Fi works. Okay. On the community garden over there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. So the NASA TV feed, they really zoomed in on the the edge of the moon there and the the sun, so they're not showing the whole sun. They just have a uh, a single close-up view. Yeah, I guess. I can just the no, that's okay. Yeah, it's a Okay. There aren't telescopes in the purple telescopes. Okay. There is one in the same one. Okay. The line for it, but... Uh, so, right now, we are watching the Exploratorium feed. What? And the, uh, they're from San Francisco, they're a science center, okay. and they go out and they set up for all these eclipses. Yeah. So here we're starting to see the moon really getting close to eclipsing the sun. Oh, there we go. There's a nice view. The moon is, oh, the moon is going to eclipse the sun almost completely now, and we're going to see totality in just a few minutes on the screen right over there for our local guests and for all of you on the screen here. And when the moon covers up the bright part of the sun, that's when we get to see the, the part of the sun we never see normally, the corona. It's the blue flame that goes all the way around the sun, and it's only visible during a total eclipse, and it's only visible um, for a few minutes at a time from the right location. So here we are viewing from Torreon in Mexico, and we will see a total solar eclipse coming from there. Uh, it looks like maybe a minute away. We're at about 90. This is, by the way, this is about a 99% eclipse. And so the people in Toronto who are at 99.8%, they won't get to see the corona because even 0.2% of the sun is still too much for us to be able to see anything else. So you really have to be right in that path of totality to be able to see the eclipse. Okay, it looks like we're coming down to what's going to be called the diamond ring and Bailey's beads when the last gleams of sunlight come through uh, the mountains and valleys on the edge of the moon. And as the crescent of the sun uh, disappears, there we go. There's the diamond ring effect. And now we have the total solar eclipse from Torreon, Mexico. A beautiful view of the moon, the dark side of the moon, for you Pink Floyd fans, with the corona around the outside. There are uh, some pink prominences. Those are like the flames on the outer edge of the sun. If and now as they turn up the exposure here, they'll uh, they will see more and more of the corona on the outside. So this main screen over here, folks, has the view of the total solar eclipse from, um, from Torreon in Mexico, coming over uh, from the Exploratorium over NASA TV. And our view, well, we are totally eclipsed here as well, but by clouds. So... Um, it's a great thing that NASA is out there doing this work for us. I tried to suggest that we send our staff all over the world to, to view the total solar eclipse, but apparently that's uh, that's rather expensive. So I'm glad that NASA is able to do it for us. And um, the thing about the video view, it seems a little bit bright, but in real life, the, the corona is very uh, ghostly blue. Here it shows sort of yellowish. I think that's just a, the way the camera works but there's a sort of a bluish glow to it. And if you were in the path of uh, the total eclipse, it would be sunset and sunrise all the way around you. Everything in all directions along the horizon would be twilight because the only darkness is coming right down from the shadow of the moon. And all around you, it's daylight because only a few dozens of kilometers farther along the path, they're not in totality yet. So this shadow of the moon is racing across North America 
at about Mach 3. And um, so that you, you only get a few minutes of it. I think at Torreon, they get something like three minutes and 40 seconds, something like that. Um, but it is a magical view. I wish we had the audio feed. Um, I've got it turned down so that we can concentrate on the video um, because the internet reception is terrible. Um, but at this point, everyone there is yelling and screaming and cheering and crying. And it, it's a very emotional experience to see a total solar eclipse. It really can be life changing. So unfortunately, because we have clouds here, we don't have a great view locally. Um, however, we do hope it'll clear up. Um, the total solar eclipse from Mexico is visible on this side here, and uh, you can see what's going on on that big TV screen there. There are also telescopes set up in the community garden there, but right now with the cloud over the moon or over the sun, we can't really see too much else. If we could get uh, the folks to, yeah, just back up a little bit so everyone can see, that would be great. What are you talking to? Uh, we are, yeah, we are live streaming to all the schools in Manitoba and to people around the world. So. Is this, okay. is this functional? Like it, it's only live streaming. Uh, and right now, not, it's not functional because it's cloudy. The The visible telescopes are over on that side of the building, and that's where you can look through them. Sure. Thanks. So, you're looking. Okay, let me just see how we're doing here on our stream. It looks like, wow, things are slow. Okay, time to turn off the chat, I can see. Around Yeah, 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 Sure. Um, but we're we're live streaming, and we have a whole bunch of technical issues right now. Oh no! Yeah, which is always fun. The whole the whole internet in the is basically nothing but eclipse right now. So well, I don't want to interrupt you. No, it's all here. okay. I just but, you know. Yeah, for sure. We can we can definitely chat. Yeah. Well, I just I mean. Yeah. Do you mind if I piggyback? I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. 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 The sun. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, talked in the Bill Nye times. <laughs> so I guess I mean. My my first question is, why are people so enamored with yeah, my the, the eclipse? I think it's because it's people people realize the alignment that's happening includes the sun, the moon, the earth, and them. We're all in a perfect line, and it reminds us that we're part of that cosmos. We're we're part of this. It's not yeah. just starry wallpaper that's out there. So, <laughs> so uh, the screen is on. Um, okay, uh, good question. I'll bring that back. There's been like some technical difficulties on a big day like today. Yeah. Right? Is that better? Yes, give it a minute. It sh something should come up in a moment. Just give it a second. There's a delay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so where are we at right now? So right now it's, um, we're only about uh, 25 minutes into the eclipse, so the, the eclipse has started here in Manitoba. We've seen totality twice from Mexico, different stations along there. We're watching the live stream. They have clearer skies in Mexico than we do here. Um, so we're waiting. We're hoping for the sky to clear a little bit. The problem is that uh, the, the filters for our telescopes have to dim the light by so much to protect our eyes that any extra dimming from clouds makes it impossible for them to focus. And so we're, we're sort of the, the, we have the worst of all situations here. A little bit of cloud, not enough to get a good view though. Um, people are still able to see it with their eclipse glasses in the, in the gaps of the clouds, but uh, right now it's pretty solid. So we haven't, we haven't got a great view here. And how have people been with understanding that? Um, surprisingly well. Um, I think a lot of people did arrive today thinking that they could get eclipse glasses, and eclipse glasses have been sold out around the world for like two uh, two weeks, basically. Um, and there have been a few scattered around that were available, people finding extras and stuff like that, but really it's not the kind of thing that uh, you can sort of do last minute. There, there, there's just been such a rush for this, because because out east it's a total eclipse. And so, you know, in in, in Ontario, a lot of stories come out of there and everybody gets excited and, and it, it just snowballed into this huge event. We have hundreds of people here 
despite the fact that it's cloudy, hoping to catch a glimpse of it. So, and what, and what does that say about the phenomenon itself? I mean, people who are coming, I know people who yeah. are driving down to the states to go. And oh yeah. It. Well, a total solar eclipse is totally worth driving for. I I went in 2017. I went to Nebraska for it, and uh, I saw 1979. Winnipeg had one. I uh, got to stay home from school in like grade two or whatever. Um, and both of them were mind blowing. And I'm and I was unable to um, to really see anything um, anything since that has been like that. So um, it's it, it pretty much sets it changes your life when you see a total solar eclipse. A partial one is not at all the same. It's still pretty cool, but um, and you get that sense of the cosmos and and the alignments and things like that. But it just doesn't have the sheer beauty of a total eclipse. And then of course when you have clouds, it really doesn't uh, really doesn't work. So last thing last thing before yeah. I let you go yeah. well, just for me just describe what seeing a total solar eclipse is like like what do you remember from it so I went to uh I stayed home watched it on tv during the partial phases because at the time eclipse glasses weren't easy to get um and so we watched that on tv for safety but then during the total eclipse we opened up the the blinds in in my parents bedroom with a window face and I saw this black hole in the sky surrounded by blue fire and the entire horizon around all covered in the, the colors of twilight. And I was just, my head exploded. I, I became an astronomer right then at age nine. Um, and that set my career. It was only two minutes, but it was just so beautiful and so amazing. You can't even describe it. And I would say that it's probably the most beautiful natural site that exists. So it's not surprising that people travel all over the world to see it. Oh, it's very nice. Thanks a lot. I bumped into Jen Wilson and my friends with her, and she said you guys went to school. To yeah, yeah. Camp together. Yeah. Oh my God. She said you, you know you were bringing telescopes uh, at that point even. How well, old? You know, was that before oh, or after? That, no, that was after. Yeah, yeah. that was. Uh, I was in first year university when I went out to camp for <laughs> Sagan. Oh, look, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of assumed it was a youngster. Yeah. Um, so this is a bit of a better luck next time. Uh, no, I think we're going to still get some views. Uh, there's some holes through the clouds. Actually, if you if you look up at the sun now with your eclipse glasses, which should you don't, if you don't have, yeah, if, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's the, the clouds are uh, the clouds are a little bit too thick, unfortunately. You might be able yeah. to see through the clouds a little eclipse. We've got a view right now from Arkansas, which is on the screen there, and that is the uh, the next place along the line of the eclipse path. So we're hoping to see uh, see the view from there. So with the clip, the thick clouds right now, can you like take quick glances or not? Pardon me? Can, with the thick clouds, can you take quick glances with your naked eye? There, there is no safe known exposure. Okay. Having said that, almost every person has looked at the sun briefly for a second, and you know, I I, I don't recommend it, but um, right. because the problem is once you take one glance, you'll take another, and you'll take another. The, the sun is no more dangerous during an eclipse than it is any other day. It's just that no one looks at the sun any other day for any length of time, right? Yeah. So we, we just don't know where that damage right. could occur. And if you're looking at a sunset. Yeah. I, well, and you, actually, you, yeah, even then, you're still getting some of the, of the, like, looking at the sunset. It's dimmer, but you's still getting the infrared and the ultraviolet, and it, it will damage your eyes. So you want to avoid any kind of eye damage. I mean, eclipses are cool. But having vision for the rest of your life is cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, guys. Hey, hey, hey how's it going? Wilson go. Oh, one more question. Uh, oh, it's a cereal box. So I saw on the website, there's a, there's a little guide to tell you the cereal box to create an easy version of the glass. So can that work? Yeah. We said like a cereal box. No, no. Oh, oh, uh, 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 it's a pinhole camera. Yes, a cereal box with just a pinhole. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it you don't look through it, uh -huh. and it projects an image on oh, the okay. screen. That is also safe, but it won't work like this either, unfortunately. With the clouds like this, we're really uh -huh. out of luck. Uh -huh. The best view we have is coming from NASA TV on that screen, okay. where it looks like a. This is about what the sun will look like at two o'clock here if it was clear. That that's what our eclipse will look like, hopefully. Thank you. Um, well, the, the orange is actually just from the filter that's being used. Some filters make it orange, some filters make it white, some filters make it green. I have a white one, so ours will look white. Where did where did Jen Wilson go? <laughs> oh, there you are. I have, good, I have to give you a hug. Okay. Go ahead. Crazy. <laughs> I don't think you're Yeah, it's not. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I mean, over there. 
so cool. My uh, my 16 year old is is in the leaf, and my 13 uh, year old is at school reading her class in the stuff. That's awesome. So, yeah. So so this is really good. This is awesome. Well, we're going to the museum actually quite a bit. No, oh, yeah, Uncle. Well, are you are you still are you still teaching? Yeah. Yeah. That's at at uh, great. Uh, no, it's, uh, oh, was that great? Yeah, I got more with the conversion thing. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we just came through the museum. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Nice. Oh. Hey, I'm Scott. How's it going? Good. Hey, Thanks. Thanks. Nice to meet you. These were little clips that you used to put things onto things, like signs and stuff like that. Live streaming. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get this aimed now, and then we'll hopefully see a view here. Yeah, yeah. Just give me a call. Yeah. There on Friday for all the right? I was there on Friday running the shows in the planetarium. Oh. Yeah. We just got so. Cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. You too. Good to see you. Let's just uh, move these over here. They're far too tight for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Back again. We've got uh, so many people dropping by here. Lots of uh, lots of friends I haven't seen for a long time and lots of new friends. We're still watching, unfortunately, NASA TV because it's not clear here. Um, oh, well, maybe a little bit clearing. Maybe it's clearing. Hey, let's see if we can get this in. Let me just see if I can get this properly aimed. Oh no, it's still so dark that it we can't um let me see. Let me see what I can do here. To be honest, the view from NASA is better than the view that we have from here anyway, but still it's one of those things that uh it would be nice to be able to oh wait, wait, maybe I'll get to see the view here. Okay, I'm going to have a live view coming up on the camera in just a minute. We're just getting it centered here, and I'll have to change some exposure times. See what we can get here. Okay, let's see. No, that's not what we want. Okay, so I'm going to flip over to a uh, view here. All right, so here is the view of the sun live. And let me just make sure that this is uh, coming through properly. Make it a little bigger here. There we go. And now we'll just move my camera out of the way so you don't need to see me. There we go. And we'll get rid of all these other little timers that we don't need anymore because the eclipse has already started. And let's just make sure we have NASA still up. So in the little screen at the bottom is the view from uh, a place in Texas, it looks like. And then above that is the view that we have here. Not the best view, I have to say. Uh, and I'll just see if I can get a better exposure here with less noise. Let's see, let's see. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's changing a lot, of course, with the uh, with the brightness of the clouds. So yeah. there we go. So there's the eclipse as we see it from here in Manitoba. And so that's uh, that's kind of nice. Although you can see the clouds going over there, and we're going to try and keep tracking on it. Why do we keep losing the little NASA feed? I don't know. There we go. And then down in the corner, we have the NASA feed. That's the uh, feed from 
looks like Texas. Let me just see if I can zoom in there. Yeah, that's uh, from Dallas, Texas. I have, uh, I have a bunch of friends out in Dallas. Hopefully some of you have the, uh, have the view of Dallas there. So we'll zip back to Dallas. So they're, they're coming to totality very soon. Oops, let's center this a little bit more for you. There we go. So two views of the eclipse from different places. If anybody still thinks that the Earth is flat, this observation proves that it's not. Because if the Earth was flat, the eclipse would look the same no matter where you were. So, um, because in Dallas, 4,000 kilometers to the south, oh, it looks like they just had some clouds go over just at the end of the, uh, here, we'll go back to our view. Looks like they had some clouds go over. So we're going to keep our uh, view here. This is a very busy place. Nice to see, uh, nice to see what's going on. I think I'm slightly in the background. Oh, that's, that's totally okay. Uh, what background? Oh, oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. That's Dre. She works with me at the museum. She's cool. Um, so while uh, we're watching the eclipse here, let's see. It's uh, 135. So that means we're about 26 minutes from the maximum eclipse here in Manitoba. But we've seen totality twice, and we will get a chance to see it again from Dallas, it looks like. It looks like they've got intermittent clouds, but it's clear right now. Uh, here, it's barely clear enough for the telescope to focus on it. I can't see it through my eclipse glasses, which is uh, too bad. Let me see here. Yeah, no, the, uh, the crowd camera is not able to bring it in. So we're just going to stay on our NASA feed and our, our white light image here. That would be awesome. Okay. Can you, um, Maddie, if when you come back, can you bring me my blue sweater, please? Yeah. There's a sweater in the. Yep. Oh, this one. Yes, never mind. Thank yep. you. Got it. Awesome. Got it. Pardon me? No, I'm okay. Thanks. What do you see through here? We're going. This is actually a live stream. Yeah, there's nothing to see through this one. It's showing on the screen there. What you can see. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We're going for drinks now. Yes. Hey, Seema. Yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly when I turn my microphone on. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. Mm -hmm. There. So that's this. That's the view that we have there. Sorry, can, we, can I get you guys to just move away from this? This is our only power. Uh, so, okay. So what we've got right now, we're watching the live image from this telescope. For those of you that just got here, there are a whole bunch of telescopes on the other side of the building that you can go over and look through with safe solar filters. This is a live stream that's mostly being provided for the schools and the people that couldn't come here, but you're welcome to take a look there too. We are also looking at the view from NASA TV, and NASA has a few places in the, the zone of totality where the total eclipse is happening. We've seen it go total twice already. Oh, it looks like uh, now's a good time to go to to uh, Careville, Texas. I got some friends down there. That is the total solar eclipse as seen from Careville, Texas. So the recent view that we have on the right. There we go. The crescent view on the right is uh, from Manitoba. That's the view from um, Careville, Texas. And uh, it looks like they're just having some clouds roll through there during totality. I can, I can relate to that. I'll just bring our view back to the center here. Oh, make sure that we have a decent view. So they've jumped ahead to Dallas because it looks like uh, Careville clouded over. Dallas has been having some intermittent clouds as well. So you can, uh, 
understand what that's like. We have the same thing going on here, but hopefully that we'll get a view of totality from Dallas. So it's uh, 139 here. So that's about, um, point, wait, am I doing math right? 22 minutes till the middle of the eclipse here in, in Winnipeg. Um, yeah, Kerrville is getting clouded over, but uh, Dallas might be clear and we'll get a view from that. And we are trying to get reasonable views of the um, of the whole eclipse here. Well, we lost NASA again for a second. The internet is uh, grinding to a halt as everyone in the world basically tries to watch the same thing. Um, I'm kind of impressed that this is running at all, and I hope that's getting out to our schools and our friends like that. Shout out to uh, Madame Robson's class at uh, Culver Ends and uh, my kiddo Eleanor. Hopefully you uh, have been outside with the eclipse glasses and uh, got a chance to see the, the, the eclipse up close. But if not, this is kind of the next best thing, I guess. I'm just going to see if I can adjust our exposure here just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So there's a sun, uh, there's a sunspot um, right in the center there that I'm trying to focus on. Just to make sure that we have the same, the whole thing uh, viewed properly. There we go. That's uh, that's a reasonable view of the of the eclipse right now. So the screen's on the side. And let's see. We'll just move this over a little bit. There we go. Center that a little bit more. There we go. NASA keeps blanking out every time there's a every time there's a change. I don't know why. I don't like it. Okay. So Yeah, NASA is uh, trying to watch totality from Texas. It looks like the forecast has proven to be correct that uh, clouds in Texas. Sorry, Mike and Sean, if you're watching. Um, some of my staff and friends and people have all gone to various places to see the eclipse. Uh, April showers bring May flowers, they say. Hopefully that will console you a little bit. But um, yeah, Texas looks like it's fighting quite a bit of clouds, uh, which is really too bad. We are getting a better view, probably the best view here that we've had all afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to our view. Um, this telescope here is showing the eclipse uh, on the big screen over there. If, uh, if you just got here, there are telescopes you can look through on the far side of the building in the community garden. And there's a screen over here showing what's going on on this screen. And uh, we're mostly just live streaming this for our friends in the schools and stuff like that so that they can see what's going on. Um, so hopefully you have the chance to, uh, to see all of that. Center this a little bit more. There we go. Nice vibe. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you guys. Okay. A little bit brighter skies than in October. Yeah, you know, we're getting a better view. I've got the telescope view on there, and you so you can it's actually working this time as opposed to the last time where we couldn't uh, we couldn't do anything. So, um, I don't know exactly, but it'll be sixty some percent at uh, in about fifteen minutes. So check it out. Are you guys sticking around to yeah. the end? Kind of hanging thing? around for a while. Okay, yeah. because I have a picture for you in my car, which is over there. Um, yeah. So. We'll hang around okay. for a while, yeah. So cool, that'd be yeah. great. Excellent. Um, thanks for doing those interviews. <laughs> I kind of figured that that would happen, and I kind of figured that you'd like that, and so I just let it. That I I I just worked on this. So there. Yeah, yeah. I think that might. Hey, hold that spot. Hold it. Oh, hold, it. Oh, hold that. Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. I see nothing. Just hold that. Hold oh, nothing. Hold it. Nothing. You look great. You look good. <laughs> Work it. Yeah. Okay. No, I can see nothing through my glasses. The glasses are dimming it too much. The camera here, yeah, the camera here has enough um, power that it can sort of pull it through. 
And that's what we're seeing on the screen now. At least I hope that's what we're seeing on the screen now. Yeah, that's the actual live view of what we're seeing right now. So we're, uh, it is right now. Yeah, that, well, that's right. The glasses have to dim it down to the safe amount. And the difference between the safe amount of the sun and no sun at all is very close. So as soon as you have extra dimming from the sun, you can't see it. And it's, the, it's, it's a difficult kind of thing. However, it looks like Dallas has got some clear skies. Let's flip over to the Dallas view here. Dallas is um, looking pretty good. And uh, here, we're just going to zoom in a little bit so we get a bit better view. There we go. This is the time when I wish we had, uh, I wish we had multiple, we need a whole production crew to be here. Like we need, I don't know, a switcher and we need somebody to run the telescope and we need two narrators and we need, um, anyway, it would be awesome to just have, have done more, uh, more production for this because there's just so much cool stuff going on, but I'm finding like, oh, the buttons, so many buttons. All right. So the main feed there from Dallas, Texas, very, very thin crescent. That's about 95% of the sun covered right now, um, which is what uh, they get, they're get. they getting sort of north of Toronto. Um, Toronto gets 99.8%, and that is not enough to show the total solar eclipse. 99.8 is still 0% total. So you really have to be in that zone of totality to see the, uh, the, the beauty of the total solar eclipse. So the folks that didn't travel, unfortunately, will just have, um, well, th they may be disappointed just because it's 99.9 .9 is just not sufficient in this case. Can you? I don't know. I'm hoping it feels like, here, I want to show you some so I was trying to get a count of the view. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. Okay, so here we're coming down to a very thin crescent uh, on the NASA TV feed, uh, which is uh, from Dallas right now. And hopefully we'll get a nice view of totality. This is about 99. This is the view they get in Toronto. It gets like that, and then it just turns around and undoes itself. So, yeah. Yeah, and now we're going to see they're taking the filter off now because the filter is too bright or too much to to uh, protect. And now hopefully they will get to see the eclipse, but they may also have clouds. Oh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like they've got a few clouds going on. I think this person, whoever's whoever's driving the telescope in Dallas, is not pointed at the sun. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they were totally not pointed at the sun. Perfect. Now they're on the sun. And uh, that is the view from Dallas, Texas. Uh, still quite far along the, uh, the path of totality. And... Yeah, that's that's the view of a total solar eclipse. And even this is about 1% of how cool the actual thing is. If you're there in the shadow of the moon, it is a glorious sight. Um, now, it looks like they got clouded over in Dallas. They've got intermittent clouds. So imagine going all the way to, to a place like that and then getting clouded out. It's unfortunate, but... Oh, no, they've come back. They've popped back now. So it looks like they've got like a cloud going across and then NASA is switching to one of their telescopes farther along the way. So this is a beautiful view of totality. This this camera is really showing the blue of the corona, the ghostly uh, fire around the sun, can only be seen during a total solar eclipse. And so only for a few minutes at most. And there are people that travel the world and set their vacation time based on the solar eclipses because it really is that amazing. Now, if you were here in Winnipeg in 1979, February the 26th, 
That, there are a few people. I see some hands. Yes, yes. That was the solar eclipse that last came through Winnipeg. And we got to stay home from school. Well, no, they kept us in the gym. I stayed home from school because somehow my mom realized that this was something not to be missed. So they, in fact, uh, kept and called me in sick. And I stayed at home and I watched it on TV with Robert Ballantyne of the Planetarium and uh, the folks on CBC. And then when total eclipse happened, we opened up the blinds and I looked outside and I saw this up in the sky with a ghostly blue twilight all the way around. And it blew my mind. And I became an astronomer right then. That was, uh, I was nine. And uh, for two minutes or so, I saw that corona. We're just getting a clear view here right now. And so I am gonna pop back to our white light view. Hmm, it looks like we... You see where the sun is in? We're doing okay. Just don't know why. Well, we just need a little bit more motion. You saw the one in 91. Oh, yeah. Oh, in um, South Central America. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Was, Friends of mine drove down yeah. to that. That was the best one of the, yes. of the century. Yeah. Hey? I was like 13. Oh, yeah. Thereabouts. Yeah. It was like seven minutes or something there. Yes. I was, oh. It was like about four minutes where I was. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Have, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. That, that was cool. Oh, yeah. That, a bunch of people drove down or flew down for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We just had someone telling us a story about the 1991 eclipse in Baja and in Central America. That was just an amazing view. Um, let's get NASA back here. There we go. So we've got people cheering the partial eclipse here, and we've got people cheering this total eclipse from Dallas. And you can see it through the glasses. It's bright enough to faintly see through the glasses through the cloud right now, which is nice. How long does it last? Uh, the eclipse lasts until just after three, but the peak is right about uh, in about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. It's on. Yeah. Yeah. So we have quite the uh, quite the view here. Um, what's the part like down like? Anybody know? I don't know. Oh, you haven't gone? Yeah. Can, uh, can, can you get um, someone to send us a couple pictures of just the crowd just so I can see what there's? Oh, it's good to have it. to see it. Get to see it. Uh, no, somebody else was looking to have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Never know when the mic is hot, right? Yeah. You will remember that kind of syndrome. So we've got lots of folks here checking things out, and uh, it's quite a nice view. Um, so let's see if we can get, yeah, NASA in Dallas, totality has ended. They're not right in the middle of the path, so they were they only got a, a minute and a half or so, something like that. And now NASA has moved along to Arkansas, where they are just waiting for totality to happen. Total. Yeah, back in back in the 70s, no, uh, yeah, in the 70s, there was a, an experiment where a, the Concorde aircraft flew at supersonic speed along the shadow of the eclipse, and they were able to watch totality for 74 minutes, which would be amazing. We have the next best thing here, because every four minutes or so, we're seeing totality again from a different location. If you have seen the total phase, if you wouldn't mind letting other people come in and see, that would be great. There's also telescopes that you can look through yourself and get a close-up view of the eclipse. They're on the far side in the community garden. This is going to YouTube, so it'll be on, on our YouTube channel. Yes. I really hope it's all going to YouTube. Now I want to check. Yeah. Let, me just, let me just check. Check my encoder settings. That's no good. Um, yeah, no, it's, it is, it is going out. So yeah. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Entire workplace apparently is watching. Good, good. Um, I, uh, I can't even tell, to be honest, how many people are watching. Where's my, oh boy. So many comments here. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of inappropriate ones too. I really want to get rid of some of these. So, do you need this one? Yes, sorry, I do. Yeah. 
Well, thanks, Jamie. 1,821 people watching right now. That's awesome. From that's uh, it would be on Facebook or on YouTube. Just post YouTube. So the view on this monitor here is the view from here and from um, Russellville, Arkansas, where they're going to get totality in about uh, three minutes, I think. So we have both of those going. Oh, hey, Betty, nice to see you. Um, Quentin, you can see it in Winnipeg right now if you've got a hole in the clouds. So, what we're doing here is, um, okay, thank you. The, the one that's over top of my head. Okay, so yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like you've got everything going uh, on both spots here. We're just going to check out. Uh, I got to change the exposure on the camera. The clouds have thinned, so I just need to turn my camera view down a bit. Oh, that sunspot is just about to be eclipsed. So that's the thing we were using to focus. So I better focus one more time before uh, before we lose our little sunspot. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. There we go. Okay, and now that. And now. Uh, not quite yet. It'll be 60% in. Um, about five minutes. Screen is over here. This is just the one I'm using for, for live streaming. Let's try and get. There we go. We got both feeds. So there we have totality again in Russell, Russellville, Arkansas. And the view above my head. Oh, it looks like they're fighting with some clouds as well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's the view from Russellville. The view on uh, on the right uh, is the view from here in Winnipeg. That's live as seen from the telescope that we have here. And uh, let's see if we can uh, show a little bit of that. Okay. So you're going to have like a big post break. Here we go. I don't know. Okay. So the view there coming from Arkansas, it's quite a nice shot of totality. You can see some prominences. All of those little bright spots are flames on the sun. We can see those all the time if you have a special solar telescope, but during an eclipse, they become visible pretty much to anybody. And then the outer atmosphere of the sun, the corona, and that's a mystery to a lot of people. It's uh, way hotter than the surface of the sun. The outside of the sun is way hotter than the surface, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's just the way it is. We we don't know a lot of things about the sun. So we'll just center that a bit more. one. Okay, there we go. How are we doing here? 
Oh, and it looks like Mr. Sean Workman, one of our planetarium staff, has successfully observed totality from their location somewhere in Texas. And uh, we'll see here. There's Sean's picture. Excellent. Great job, Sean. I, I'm glad you and Mike found some clear skies. Uh, I was a little worried about that because, you know, the weather forecasts were not the best. Oh, hi, Al. Nice to see you. Very cool. So many people here observing. Oh, I got some friends out in Quebec. Heather and Jerry are out there. And uh, oh, so I think Brian is, uh, is texting in as well. Very good. So this has been pretty good. And we're about a minute and a half away from maximum eclipse here. So I'm going to switch to our view because we've seen totality a few times, but I want to make sure that we see our view here. So I'm going to make the, the best view we can see here. So there we go. Okay, and there we go. There we go. So we're at about 60% of the sun's diameter is eclipsed. And it'll get to uh, just a little bit above that. Scott, I have, do you want me to email them to you, the photos of the crest? Sure, that would be great. Yeah, okay. thank you. If you email them, then I can pop them on and yeah, show them okay. the thing here. It's kind of crazy in terms of the, the, the group here. Hey, Catherine. That's it. That's That's our group. Is it 201 uh, maximum here? 201 is right now, yes. So this is maximum eclipse for us here in Manitoba. Maximum eclipse is right now. And that's pretty cool, actually. We've got a good view. I can see them through the eclipse glasses. I can see them through the eclipse glasses. We can see them on the screen here. And we've got lots of folks watching the eclipse from here. Hey. Well, I just need a couple of quick shots. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not taking this. It's just all getting recorded. That's somebody else's problem. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, we should uh, we should do this. Because uh, you, you, you do like this kind of stuff. I stole minions from work, too. Yeah. Hey everybody. everybody! Everybody, look over here. We're gonna put you on the on the live stream. Wave! Wait for the live stream! One, two, two and a half, <laughs> two and three quarters, maximum eclipse! Yay! <laughs> Okay, we are at maximum eclipse, everybody, and we've got a big crowd here. I don't know, I can probably see a few hundred people here, and the other side of the building apparently is full. I had someone go over to take some pictures so that we can see what that looks like as well. But here we have, uh, oh, and NASA TV once again dropping out. There we go. So that's our view. 201, we're just a little bit past maximum eclipse. The eclipse. The moon there will slide by without covering the whole sun from our view, unfortunately. But it will also um, be something that we can see um, for the next hour or so. Things will run until 3.08. So schools, if you've been watching, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, anybody, of course, that's, that's joined us. We will keep live streaming. I'll probably keep my comments uh a little bit less because uh, we have a large crowd here and people have been trying to ask questions and I've been ignoring them, but uh, I will I will be back and around. Um, the chat is being swarmed with questions and I just have not been able to keep up with it. Um, so um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see. There's definitely a lot of oh, NASA is really just dropping out. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, okay, there we go. So Arkansas is now finished with its totality. 
I think the next spot they have is in Indianapolis, which is not for another 15 or 10 minutes or so. So we won't have another view of totality until the, the moon's shadow reaches Indianapolis, one of the biggest cities along the route. Um, so for now, we're going to keep content with this view. And school buses are showing up. I didn't know there would be school buses. It's all good though. This is, uh, this is this is awesome. I mean, there are so many people here that it's kind of crazy. And yeah, you know, um, do you want to uh, what? Oh, you jump in here and just tell the kids how eclipses work. Uh, time gets lost. We need more than one. So I'm just going to jump off for a second here because I have to take a couple of pictures. Uh, Dre is going to jump in and we're going to do, yes, Tim gets our perfect eclipse. Perfect. Good thinking. This is such a Canadian moment in history, I think, you know? Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Adriana. Wait, I want to Tim be. Oh, Tim, oh my goodness. Oh, yes. We have plenty of Tim as you can see. So I worked with Scott at the Manitoba Museum. As a science mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, mostly Scott is just a big going, yeah. astronomer. He does yeah. all this stuff, so he's got a lot of questions. But mm -hmm. in terms of talking about what's going on when we're talking about an eclipse, we've got a couple of things lining up. So we've got four things specifically. We have the sun, and for the sun, let's use a Earth Day cake timbit. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. And then we have the moon. For the moon, I'm going to use a chocolate timbit. I don't know if you can tell that, but we'll see. And then you've got the earth, obviously where we are, but specifically you also need the fourth thing, which is your head. So if your head lines up with the other three, then that's where you get the total solar eclipse. Now our heads here in Winnipeg are not lining up, unfortunately, but we are still getting a bit of it. So let's see, for the earth, I'll use just a regular hippet. So as the moon is orbiting around earth, and then the earth and the moon are orbiting around the sun, at some point, things will line up just at the right distance at the right time so that the sun is blocked off by the moon. So it looks like the moon covers the sun. Now, we kind of luck out in that where we are compared to the moon and the sun is just the right distance, and the moon is just the right size so that it actually can completely cover up that circle. I wish I could get that perspective right now or not, but it makes it create this eclipse. Now, because we're at a different angle, of course, we're getting that partial eclipse, so we won't line our heads up, but it's a really amazing event that we get to see. Uh, I personally was at the 2017 eclipse down in Nebraska, and when it happens, you get that totality. You see it actually gets noticeably dark. It's almost like twilight line. And seeing that in the middle of the day can be kind of like a crazy experience, especially if you're not expecting it. So when we're having the eclipse come across, it's just like a second where everybody around you has something happen all together. And even if you don't know what's going on, you're not seeing things fully, it's still something that the people around you are noticing. And you can kind of look to your sides and you see everyone around and you see it all together, right? So it's so one of the nice things about events like this even if you're watching everybody on this stream right now watching everybody here at this event <laughs> are stealing my chimics so it's okay <laughs> everybody here yeah, we're all kind of experiencing it together and that's the great part and i know Scott kind of talked a bit about how for the 79 eclipse like when he was a kid seeing it when things in astronomy happen seeing it as a community is what really builds that curiosity for scott he said that that really helped him get interested in it and look where he is today right we're seeing all these telescopes we're getting everyone together he's making connections you're making connections so i just think it's really cool events just even if you don't see it fully even if you're not catching it like that's that's the biggest thing sometimes it's just the experiencing it together i think that's really nice and it's always nice to talk to people like all the kids that are here, all the parents and families and everyone from different countries. I know um, people like to travel for it. Obviously, I traveled down to Nebraska um, in 2017. But, you know, eclipses happen around the world, too, because it's just the lining up of the different planetary bodies. So that happens all over. 
but not everyone is able to scoot on down to South America if you live in North America. So it's still nice to see live streams from NASA, for example. Actually, just taking a peek and seeing what's... See, I don't want to mess with any settings and destroy something, but I just want to see what's going on. Looks like still have some stuff going on. Uh, Carbondale, Illinois, I believe that's what it, the IL is for the NASA stream. So it looks like they've got a good totality there. Um, and then let's see what's going on here. So we might have to start with gestures. See if I push my tips off to the side. They're not easily wet. See if I can kind of do. Glasses just for a minute. I just want to get As long as you give it back. Yes. Yeah. I'm just going to see if I can. We're still doing good. Okay. I think we're doing okay. So hopefully you guys are getting a good view and stuff and experiencing something pretty cool today. I know some of us are in school. So if you're watching from a school, hello. Maybe I'll see you guys at the Science Gallery of Planetarium in the future. Um, it's just a nice kind of moment in time to visit and see what's going on. Oh, it's nice and bright now, so it looks like we're probably getting a good view. I feel like, I hope it's all lined up already. Scott's doing a TV interview, so I don't know what more to talk about. So hopefully this is okay. The Twilight movies, I don't know about that. Like the Eclipse movies, like, <laughs> Yeah, when we talk about eclipses, in this instance, we are not talking about the Twilight movies. We are talking about the actual astronomical event, um, which is pretty neat. We have a bunch of telescopes set up around the leaf on the other side. I haven't been able to see that side in quite some time, but I'm hoping, I'm thinking it's got a couple hundred people. And I know last time in 2017, the Manitoba Museum didn't have anything too crazy set up like this. And there was something like a thousand people. I get to be the live streamer right now. It's very fun. I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> we're just talking. It is off to the very side. So, um, Scott, can you help me adjust this? Because I'm scared of doing it wrong. Oh, sure. Um... I don't know how to... Do so. Yes, that's okay. I, I, I. You just let me put it away. I know. I didn't. I did. Look, I just ditched you. There we go. Next. Next is this point. What is that though? That's the one that goes over the Valley of the Kings. Yeah, that tells me so much. Thank you. Egypt. Egypt. Ah. Oh, it's lucky. Yeah. Uh, Zoe and I were talking about maybe doing a tour. Oh, yeah. Imagine going. What's that? NASA's gone haywire too. Going haywire. Can I give this back to you? Uh, sure. Absolutely. Um. Too stressed out. Yeah. No, it shouldn't be. Uh. Looks like it's working here. So. That's this is delayed about ten seconds from here because of the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do not shift it over. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's it's interesting because we have um. Usually the internet um, yeah. delay is not very big, yeah. but apparently everyone's watching. So uh, we have. I wonder why. Yeah, we have we have like four thousand people watching the stream right now. Jeez. Um, one of them. Well, excellent. At work. Oh, nice. Coworkers. Yeah, you know we found a lot of people are watching it from uh, from online. Um, is there something to see here for the general public or? This okay, so this uh, this screen is showing what we see through this telescope. It's also showing feeds from NASA. Uh -huh. All of the telescopes to look through are on the other side of the building. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I didn't expect to have this many people. We... Have you seen over there? No, no, I haven't. Uh, there's a couple thousand people over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It's uh, You can't really walk through that area now. Huh. I'm kind of glad I'm over here. And there's probably about a good 20 or so telescopes set up throughout the different area. Yeah, I we um I was worried that we would be short of volunteers because, of course, many of the astronomy hardcore folks drove to the site of totality, and they're 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 down there somewhere. In fact, I've been getting uh, texts from a bunch of people. Bobby just texted me uh, 1:30. It was total in Dallas. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. We we saw it. Was it clear there? Because it looked like it was, yeah, it looked like it was fading out. It looked like it was clear. Okay, awesome. So that's what is the right now. Okay, so here's our, oops, let me send you that again. There's our view of the solar eclipse. You can probably hear the crowd around us here. We've got, uh, 
I don't know how many people we have here, but um, telescopes. Yeah. Did um. Oh wait, she uh, someone emailed me a picture, so maybe I can uh, put that on the stream. So we'll show everybody. It's not too dark in it. It just takes just takes a minute to catch up the computer. Remember that. You know, may I ask, you might sort of puzzle for me because I was sure that sometime in our lifetime mm -hmm. we had a partial eclipse or something. It's 1979. We had the total eclipse in 1979. We've had a yeah. few partial ones since yeah. then, like, but the total one. Was 1979. It was 1979. We had a we had a partial one in in uh, 99. We had one in 2004. We had one in 2008. Yeah. Um. Did we have something? 2017. In 2017. Yeah. Right. 2017. Okay. The the path went across the center of the United States. Yeah. So we had a partial here, but it was cloudy and raining. Uh huh. Um. But down there we we saw the cold. So that was the that was the most recent one that you could drive to. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Hi, Nate. So here we are. And uh, let's see, I had a couple of little people that I wanted to say hello to. I have to find see if I can actually get a hold of my uh, my appropriate stuff here. Yeah, you know, I haven't been able to get much in the way of internet here because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of activity. Let me just reduce the exposure time here as well. We'll just get, there we go. Oh, look, that little sunspot is now uncovered again. So that sunspot that was blocked is now uncovered as the moon sort of slides past it. Um, <laughs> The live feed in NASA is this guy right here. Can you see here? This is right now. And that telescope live. So that's what Manitoba is doing. NASA is following you. I never thought I'd be a good thing. Okay. 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 Photos. Um, the stream that we're doing. Is that okay. Okay. The stream that we're doing. So it it on our site. It is on our. It, it gets archived on our YouTube and Facebook sites. Okay. So we can then either do a. We'll have it ready by deadline tonight. Yeah, okay. yeah it'll, it'll, because it's a long broadcast, it'll take a few hours to pass. Yeah. Okay, let me send this to. Yeah. Let's see if I can jump to a different Okay, so it looks like we are just past maximum here. I'll move that out of your way for you. Um, we've got a pretty good view of the partial eclipse here. That sunspot that we watched before get covered up has now been uncovered as the moon slides past it, right on the edge there. And the NASA feed is showing us the view in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, if uh, Monica and Andrew are listening, uh, hi, and you can. You so can see. We will yeah. be past the totality. So hopefully, you get a chance to see uh, totality because it looks like it's clear in your area. Um, actually, it looks like it's been clear in most of the areas, so that's great. Okay. One. Yeah. Uh, that was when the maximum was. Okay, well, frankly, it's it's almost the same as what it is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, Ohio is clear. They were supposed to be clouded out completely. Is it sure in Ohio? Yeah. Well, it actually it doesn't look perfectly clear. It looks like they're looking through haze, but uh, they're coming up to. Um, they're about ninety-two percent on uh, on the screen there right now. And in about two minutes, we'll get the total eclipse on uh, the screen from Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm going to try and bring these pictures to you because it's amazing to see how many people we have here. 
and by amazing, a little bit terrifying. Luckily, we have a lot of folks out here to help us. We've got the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada's Winnipeg Centre. Um, we've got the planetarium staff and volunteers. We've got some great volunteers from um, Assiniboine Park Conservancy here as well, helping us out, keep keeping control of, uh, of traffic and so on. And that's really been helpful. And so um, it's very really nice to have so many folks here to help us. And uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I'm getting lots and lots of texts from people, and I just don't have the ability to get to them because we're just swamped with people. There we go. And uh, let's just make sure we still got a view. Okay, Cleveland's about to get totality. We're about to see Bailey's beads, which is when the last part of the the, the moon. Oh, they took the uh, there we go. They took the filter off, and there is diamond ring, and there is totality from Cleveland, and that is that's what it looks like naked eye. That's the best view we've seen so far in terms of the camera reproducing it. It's uh, pretty darn impressive. Uh, the blue fire around the uh, around the thing, and. Um, then we've got, uh, oh, it looks like we're getting a little bit of cloud here on our view. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they just did it. Okay, and let's just check to see. Oh, it looks but I believe. Oh yeah, um, winnipeg.rasc.ca, um, yeah, sure. We'll head out soon, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. And that'll give you information on the group. The next meeting is actually this Friday, and it'll be at the um, the University of Manitoba is where the um, where the meetings are. But all the details for that are on the uh, on the website. You can also find us on Facebook if you're a Facebook person. So, yeah. Okay. So and then um, the email and then yeah, they'll, they'll hook you up to uh, yeah. 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 Once a month of meetings, and then uh, once a month yeah. observing sessions, so it's clear. Yeah. And then they have a loner telescope library yeah. and observatory that you can merge in. Just to be careful. Yeah. Don't take them off. Oh, great. Okay. So remember, we don't want to start until they're on, right? Oh, cool. Another one. Oh, nice. You can ask questions. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and and basically um it's a it's a pretty um social group. So you know, we 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 uh just talk about whatever and when people have questions, there's a big social break where you can just come up and talk to me, I'll be there. Don't and touch any of this. Don't knock this. Oh, and Saturn's rings too. Nice. Oh, man, that's great. Did you take that with us? Okay. Awesome. Those are fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's great. Yes. The power of cameras and phones now. It used to be that you needed all this kind of stuff. And now I can pretty much get great pictures that way. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of uh, um, workshops that will be coming up in the spring and in the summer where we focus on a particular thing like um, cell phone imaging or observing the planets or using your telescope or whatever. And so members get to do those for free. So that'll that'll be, you know, it's kind of like um, specific um, topics where we go in depth because the meetings have to be a, sort of a little bit of everything for everyone. So... But uh, yeah, definitely come on out and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll help you out. Oh, hi, Kelly. Hi, Tanner. Nice to meet you. And Scott? Adriana. Adriana, nice to meet you, Adriana. So we still have totality from Cleveland on this screen. 
And we have, oh wait, it looks like they're just, yet. Yeah, totality just ended in Cleveland. And we are going to, um, I'm gonna come back to our to solar telescope view because, oh, it looks like we got some cloud action happening here, just enough to dim things. So, so I just have to, there we go. So I just have to adjust the contrast. There's our, there's our view. I'm going to leave you all with this view for a minute because I just have to step off screen for a moment and uh, then I will be back. So, um, schools, uh, I'll be back and uh, keep watching the eclipse. We've got pretty clear skies right now. We're past the maximum, but we'll see the whole thing undo. And, oh, let's make sure we get NASA back because they'll be watching Totality coming up next from Tupper Lake, New York, up in upstate New York. I guess they did get... Uh, some clouds in the Midwest there. So unfortunately not the best view there, but we take what mother nature gives us. Okay, I'll be back. Um, I just needed the mic. I just have to run to the car okay. and grab something. Well, I just wanted to say hi. Man, we, wa we watched uh, Dylan on Walk Through the Pandemic. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool to see you guys. They may, I, I never. Oh, yeah, I'm Scott. You're like, this is, you're a celebrity in our house. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. It's nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was watching it with his class, I think, for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you got some glasses. Yeah. 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 We, uh, it was funny. We, we thought we were sold out, and then someone found some. Mm. So we had about 50 pair here, and we probably could have just auctioned them off for a million dollars. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, unfortunately, we just sold them for the three dollars that they were. And, yeah. But they went really quickly. Amazing. Good. And honorable. Yeah. yeah, I know the clouds have got a little thick. It's cool. I'm standing right in front of the telescope. No. What, what you've been throwing in there? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can still kind of see. It's still very nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, So then that's what they look like. Look at the sun. You look down, Phil. Oh, uh, the galaxy. It was like bleached out very oh, ice cold. Yes, yes, we see that out. Of course. Okay. Hey, look, the way that they do. Is that those cars? Yeah. That's making them cars. Hold on. No, she's going back to go. Yeah, look at the face. Look at her. 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 so we watch it every week. How are you able to see based on them? Yeah, so the, the telescope right now is actually live streaming. Yes. Um, showing on the TV, I believe it should be able to see. see. Yeah, so it's showing, the oh. TV is showing what this is looking like. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Sorry to talk. Um, 
She's almost here. I think she should be almost here. So then we can show her what they're looking at. Go I don't know all the settings for this, so I can't tell you. I hope I'm doing things for day. Turned on. Also, I think I saw a uh, comment from my aunt and so that <laughs> left the comment. Yeah, I know, it worked out really good. So I'm glad that the story got to end it. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that we got some nice news. Yeah. I thought it was going to be positive. Yeah. Awesome. Are you guys, um, at home now? Yeah, well, we're gonna we're streaming to the school, so we're doing the whole thing. We don't know when the school will decide to stream it, and then I uh, gotta tear it all down and we go from there. Good to see you guys. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Okay, well, have a have a good one. Yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Then. Hey, I'm interested in doing. You know, see the services. My mom said she was doing that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Did you get a chance to see through the telescopes and stuff? Or? It's not so much. There's a huge crowd over there. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, it's probably cut down a little bit now. Yeah.
decide to be on whether I bring my own cell. So this is the view from Maine. We uh, apparently they did see totality in Montreal through thin clouds. Uh, there was some cloud along um, along the lakes. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Kim and Kevin of Kingston, if you uh, if you're listening, let us know if you saw it. Uh, although the comments are coming in so fast, it's pretty hard to keep up. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, it looks like despite the cloud forecast, everybody seems to have had a pretty good view of the eclipse. So that's really great. And uh, I was I was really worried for some of the folks, but now it looks like everybody seems to have gotten a decent view. And certainly we're still watching um, the view from Maine and then all my friends out in New Brunswick, Paul Gray and all you guys out there, um, you know, I think, uh, I, I hope you have clear skies because you looked like you were gonna do really well. And I hope that that will be the, the best view there. Uh, I don't know what the weather's like in Newfoundland, but the the southern tip of Newfoundland is going to get uh, get totality as well. So hopefully you'll get to see that. And uh, yeah, we're watching now the view from um, Maine, and this is the view. Yeah, Holton, Maine. I think it was driven through Holton, Maine, actually. And we are. I'm just going to bring our um, telescope view here. Bring up the exposure a bit. Now you can you can still see that sunspot that we had, the one that we were using to focus. Whoops, and that's the TV. Stop it. There we go. Uh, the sunspot over here um, is now totally clear, and we're we're in the the back half of the eclipse for Manitoba. But in Holton, they are just coming up to totality. They're probably about five minutes away from totality, so. That'll be another chance to watch a great view of the total eclipse of the sun, which will be visible uh, from Maine. Okay. Hi, I have a question for you. Oh, what's your question? Nobody can answer it to where it makes sense in my system. That's uh, that's the okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, so I prefer that started in the west. Like when the sun is going east, and the sun is going west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the moon's motion is going the other way. So we're here, the sun's over there, and 
the, the rising of the sun is from the Earth to Earth. Right. Earth burns once every 24 hours. Right. Well, the moon's motion is yeah, circling around us. It takes a month to go around, but it only has to go a little distance to make the eclipse. Oh, and it's going in this direction. So its shadow is going out. Oh, no. Okay. So much so think I understand. It's easier to talk if I can draw it. Totally. <laughs> That's right. I'm looking at this. Yeah. But I think I get it. I think I get it. Well, I'm a planetarian. Yeah. She's a little bit more. Well, uh, you probably remember it. That kind of makes me understand. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, well, I don't know. We don't really have a moderator at all. I'm a planetary scholar, so uh, I'm just my like and now, as even factually, I know what's going on. Sometimes I'm not even Well, there's none in our solar system. Well, no other solar system. Yeah, but there's and uh, and out there, it is how that being. It is very. Yeah, it is. It is very like an amazing coincidence. And it and it's not even. It's this time in history because two hundred thousand years ago, the moon was a little bit far from the things, and so yeah, we can't cover the whole moon. Yeah, it's an interesting time because and lots of kids are in school, so they have to closer and can watch it online. Yeah. So this is really the perfect time. That's why I want to see. I think the moon is just the way it's just. It is. It is. I'm not cancelled off. I can't do it. Exactly. Right on. Well, I'm thankful that you answered my question. No problem. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, right on. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. See you. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Bye. Bye. Wait, we have some questions too. Well, sure. What's your question? Do you want mommy to ask you your next? <laughs> he wants to know if there'll be a, a total one here in his life. He's black. <laughs> um, it kind of doesn't matter what age. Um, yeah. He, he, there is one that comes through North Dakota in 2044. So that's in 20 years. Yeah. And uh, the next one that comes through Winnipeg, I think the number 2157 sticks in my head, but I actually think it's later than that. Uh, so more than, I, I have a lot of faith in modern medicine, but not that. Yeah. Can you come learn more about yeah. stuff like this in the near future? Yeah. We come through. Well, we have a we have a show called In My Backyard, which is narrated okay. by. Uh, We're so doing In My Backyard right now. We actually. But it's on the schedule actually right now. Did oh, okay. Did that already. See it. Okay. Yeah, Guardians yeah. is on the schedule. Right. Yeah. Guardians is on. Um, and then we have our live show, which is about it's like a guided tour of the night sky, um, constellations and planets and whatever happens to be up and stuff. That one's fun. And uh, we have what's that called? Uh, Manitoba Scots. That's perfect. Yeah. For that one as well, like uh, because it's a live show, yeah. we often not everyone does, but we often ask the audience if there's any specific topics you want to hear oh, about, yeah. and we can try to like accommodate that. Oh. Or if you come and talk to us after the show, like yeah. we're always happy to answer questions and talk about that too. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Very cool to come to you. Don't be here. Mm. <laughs> Take care. In the technical group. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And now I Yeah, nothing quite like it, but yeah. Hey, Dad. Sorry. Hey, um, are you still busy this afternoon? Uh, like at three, a couple of things. Yeah. Oh. Like a thousand people. Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm
I know I don't know if you know this stuff is happening, but, but I forgot to call you. Because when I got here, uh, we had to relocate and we had to take a they went to so she knows if you don't know. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be you or Brittany who can uh the plan. So so if you can pick her up at her in the wall three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for hitting the time. Send send her the text that I that I sent her. She knows to uh check her text. Okay, uh, let me get back in here and maybe we'll post the signing off because the kids will go to school or will be leaving soon. All right, everybody. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, we've got um, a little bit more cloud rolling in locally. Just going to bring up our camera view a bit. So there is our... Uh, Oops. Stay there. We go. Here we go. Come on, NASA. Here we go. So there's our clips from Winnipeg on the right and from Holton, Maine on the left. Amazing how difficult, different the view is. Again, uh, for those of you that didn't hear earlier, this is proof that the Earth is round because you couldn't have the eclipse looking different if the Earth was flat. Um, and um, we're coming pretty much to the end of our coverage now. The uh, eclipse lasts until 3.08, so we'll have the screen on. But um, I know most of you will be getting ready for dismissal and so on. So uh, thank you all for sticking with us. Teachers, I know that I didn't get a chance to answer very many questions. The chats just went crazy here. So um, we, you can always email us at space at manitobamuseum.ca. That comes right to me, and uh, I will answer questions for your classes or things like that. If uh, you had some and you didn't get a chance to do it in, in the live stream. And for the really hard questions, I'm just going to pass them to Dre, yeah. and she'll deal with it. No. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. I'll uh, my timbits. Yes, yes, Timbits can help explain everything. Um, for those of you that um, uh, want to uh, see the next eclipse, we'll have another partial eclipse coming up in a couple of years, but um, there's always cool stuff going on in the sky, and so you can always watch things that are going on. We uh, do a show at the, the last Thursday of every month called Dome at Home, and that's a live astronomy show talking about what's up in the sky for the next month. And of course, we always have planetarium shows. You can come as a field trip and we are happy to set you up with that. Or you can come with your family and um, visit uh, on the weekend or during the day or during summertime. And we'll have all sorts of programs available. You can find us online at manitobamuseum.ca. And uh, let's actually, let's see, let's just see if I can make a, uh, get a, an image of the, oops, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to see if I can show you the image of the crowd that we had here. Uh, they, oh, they cut back to Dallas there, uh, and Dallas is showing um, just the end of its eclipse. I want to be able to, um, let's see, see if I can bring up that image. Let's see. I think this is it. Oh, I'll have to just resize it a little bit. Okay, so for those of you that weren't down here, here's the crowd that we had at the eclipse. Um, pretty busy. These are the lines for the telescopes and so on. That's over on the other side. Uh, here we had a smaller group because there's only just uh, the one table here, but lots of people stopped by on their way in. Uh, I hope everybody got a chance to see the eclipse. So it was pretty busy, but we're just watching the end of things now, and the clouds are getting thicker here. So I keep having to increase the exposure time on my camera. So I think we might be done with our broadcast here. Here we go. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, it's not... There, we got a little bit better focus there on that sunspot again. There we go. And we'll get NASA, and then we'll get this. There we go. All right. 
So we will leave the speed on for the last few minutes of the eclipse, but uh, I'm going to sign off at this point. You can join us on Dome at Home the last Thursday of every month at 7 o'clock Central on the museum, Manitoba Museum's Facebook and YouTube channel. You can always find us at manitobamuseum.ca. And we'll be around for the next big special event in astronomy, as well as all the other things. So thanks for joining us, and I hope you had a great Eclipse Day, and I hope we'll see you again for another event soon. Clear skies. Have a great day. Uh, we're going to let the stream run just so that we have the end of the eclipse so that if I feel like I want to go and clap, capture images. But uh, for some reason that was so stressful. I don't know oh, why. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry. I, it's okay. Yeah, okay. So just like I got to a point where I was like, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, and I don't know if this is, like, I realized people were listening to me. You'll reach the a point in your career where that'll always be the case. <laughs> I love that. I don't think it was bad or anything, and I'm not upset about it. Oh, it wasn't like, bad. At all? I was just like, oh my gosh. Apparently, my roommate called up my cats to her laptop so my cat could watch it. Oh, nice. Um, I'm just going to go check in with all the other volunteers over there who I basically abandoned for their own fate. So I'll go check with that. I think it's calmed right now. Hopefully, yeah. Um, I mean, they sent out here. I came out. I would not have up on the table. I was going to do the so, so we're just letting uh, this go until when? Um, until the sun is no longer eclipsed. So 308. Okay. If you could just check it every once in a while and just... I'll take a yeah. okay. it. But uh, the mic is off, the camera's off, so... Okay, I'll go check the other volunteers. Thanks. Well, I wasn't anything that. Yeah, I saw, like, on the... Uh, one of the comments on, I think, YouTube, it said hello, said Lakova, which is my aunt. I'm like, the way my aunt is watching... That would be so funny if she was. Like, it's not amazing that Pop had been so much so long. You know what that was? I found one of my friends on Twitter, and I don't think they knew that I found it on Twitch. Oh, man. So I'm just waiting for the moment to ask them a very hard question. Oh, man. And then have the decision. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsies. <laughs> How do I do? What are you trying to do? Ah, uh, see, I see, I see. I want this. I want to hide the host cam. But I'm just switching it over to the uh, oh, NASA. Yeah, this one's boring now. It's a bit better because we can't see anything from us right now. Everything's just a cloudy. Default. I occasionally have enough good ideas. No, I, I don't do that. What? Turn the mics off. Um, Natalie called me saying she heard Scott tell you that the mic was off, but it's on. They can hear. I don't know how to tell if it's off or on. If it's blinking, is that off or on? Try, try pressing it to really go up. It's all it does. Now. I'll text Natalie to. Oh, you should be able to tell. Oh, the mic is on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so there. So if I do this. She's calling. Is it on? Can you hear us? Oh, if I start yes. speaking. Yep. Quick yes. Turn it off. Turn it off now. Can you, can hear, you hear us, us? now? Yes, yeah, so you can still hear us. Yep. How do I? 
turn it off then? It's winking now, so. If I just turn, I don't know what this is. Okay, let's let's take a look. From our perfect grandpa. <laughs> I'm like, what have I been talking about for the last five minutes? I just need to go home and sleep. Yeah. Testing, testing. You can't hear me. There's only one question necessary for the next one. There's only one. Yeah. So you can hear me on the microphone right now. Happy solar eclipse day, everyone. Happy solar eclipse. Yeah, we'll do. Ellie used to work for us. Oh, okay. Can you hear now? Uh, testing, testing. Uh, testing. I think I might have. But if not, as long as you just uh Ellie has to be too is that not the liar. <laughs> like it's not. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna sit there and not rock. Okay. 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 Yeah, we'll just uh we just won't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> okay, thanks. It's not a kid, Joseph. They already have to say <laughs> Ted doesn't have to help. Just uh just see it. Yeah, uh, here comes the sun. <laughs> yeah, we need an eclipse uh, playlist. Play some music. That's a good. Actually, the um, New York Times crossword for today. Some of the clues were about songs played during the eclipse. So it's pretty good. Oops, not. Um. I mean, George Harrison had a song called "Here Comes the Moon," but it was coming. Let me see. I already finished. <laughs> Still getting texts that people may have heard me. Um, hopefully, all is well. I'm creating an interesting view. Uh, Blame it on Oh, 